Hi, it's Mr. Wellengarten back again. In today's video, we are going to look at how to use the camera built into our laptop to take a photo with Python using Moo. So I'm going to create a new file here. And the first thing I'm going to do is come down to the little cogwheel down the bottom of Moo. And provided you are running version 1.1, then you'll have this fourth tab called third party packages. And what this does is allow us to get Python or Moo to run off to the internet, grab some extra functionality that doesn't exist by default and load it into our program so that we can use it. Make uh, using the camera and performing image tasks a lot quicker and simpler for us. So inside here, we are gonna say we want pillow, as in the, the thing you rest your head on at night, and image tools made easy, all one word, no spaces. Click the OK button and it'll go off to the internet to get those things. Do not dismiss this box yet. Keep this box open until the word finished appears and then you are okay to close it. So it's just, fit. all right, there's the word finished there. Now, to specify that I want to use these libraries, there are two different um, import commands that we need to add. So from pill, which was for pill, the pillow, uh, stands for the Python imaging library, we are going to import image. Image has a capital I and pill was capital P-I-L. And we're also gonna just import image tools with capital I, capital T, again, one word. To take a photo using our web camera, uh, the first thing we're gonna do is create a variable for our camera. Uh, so now you'll remember from variables, we can call them whatever we want. We can call it thingy, all right? I might call it camera. Uh, and I'm gonna use the, a function that's inside this image tools library. So I say the word image tools, and then I hit the dot and say, I want the camera, or that's a capital C. And because it's a command, I'm gonna use the parentheses. Now I want the camera to take a photo. So let's call it pick for picture. Uh, it will be the name of the variable that I want to save the photo to. And that's going to come from the camera variable and the command that belongs to camera is called take underscore photo. And then I can just show that picture on screen using a command that's built into the picture, uh, into any image. Uh, there is a show command. So I'm going to show a picture and let's also save it to file. So I'm gonna use the save. Now, I need to tell Python the name, the file name that I wanna give it. So inside these parentheses, I'm gonna put uh, myphoto.jpg. And that should pretty well do it, actually. There is one little thing I'm gonna to have to do, and that is disable my web camera, because only one program can use the camera at a time. So if you're in a Zoom call, you're going to have to temporarily uh, turn off the webcam um, for this to work. Now I'm just going to quickly take a photo, save this code. So I might just demonstrate what's going to happen. If some other program is using your camera, uh, oops, and I also have two web cameras attached to my computer. So to specify the other camera that I want to use, I put a little number one inside the brackets for camera and you will see that this will generate an error because the camera is already being used um, as part of this live feed recording here. Um, right, so, it, so if you get this assertion failed, uh, it means that something else is using the camera. So let me fix that. Okay, and we're back. So now that when I click my run button, I really need a smile for the camera. <laughs> uh, Python is going to take a photo with the web camera and display it on screen. Okay, there's my lovely picture. And if I take a look inside my Moo code folder, um, which one did I call this? This is myphoto.jpg, which is this one here. So if I open that up, there it is there. And there's another one that I took earlier on when I was experimenting around. 
Uh, I can use the input command that I used before to, you know, um, press enter to take a photo. Right, I hit enter, and there's a photo. Uh, and now keep in mind that this file name is just a piece of text. And we remember from the previous video that the input command returns a piece of text. So I could say here, file name, who is in the photo. All right, and I can just come on, put this down here, file name, and then stick the .jpg on the end of it, and use that to save my file name. So now it's going to take a photo, right? So it's taking a photo, uh, and it's saying who is in the photo? Mr. Bongarton is in the photo, and now when I go look at my folder, look at that! I have a JPEG file called Mr. Baumgarten. Uh, a couple of other little bits and pieces. Once we have taken a taken some photos we can also load those up um, so we don't have to use the camera every time. All right, since I don't have to use the camera any time, it means I can be back looking at you. Uh, and I can delete these lines and instead I'm gonna load pic from the file and I'm gonna use image.open uh, and I can put in my file name in here. And that will load the picture and show it on screen. I can also use my um, all right. I can also just use an input command, and soon I'm making it up my own little uh, version of Photoshop. <laughs> all right, name a file to open, Mr. Baumgarten. JPG, and there it is. Uh, one other thing, let's, let's get it to print out. Pick dot, uh, that, how about we get the size of our photo? All right, and that is just a variable called size. So instead of showing it on screen, let's just do that. So Mr. Baumgarten dot JPG, and that photo is 1280 by 720 pixels. One last thing we can also get it to t tell us is the mode of the picture. All right, because these are built-in variables as part of the picture variable, they do not need their own sets of brackets, uh, parentheses, because they're not commands, they're just uh, existing values within it that we're just looking up. All right, it's an RGB, a red, uh, green, blue color photo, so fairly ordinary JPEG. Alright, that's enough for this video. This is Mr. Baumgarten signing out.